Hi, my name is Hills Marie. I'm from Homeful, and today I am doing another customization project with household tools. So get ready to unleash your creativity. So now you're going to do your first layer of hodge. Now hodge is basically like a special magic glue that uh, enables us to do this really cool decoupage project. And so what you're going to do is grab your brush, make sure that the lid is undone, you don't struggle like I do. Grab your brush. I like working straight from, from the jar, but that's just that's me and very much do with everything. If you want to make sure that you do not mess, just pour a little bit out into a separate bowl and then you can start using the podge. You're going to do a thin layer of podge on the area where you want to put down your circuit. Once you've painted your very thin layer of podge, you can now start laying down your serviette. Just to remember, it is a glue, so once you lay down your serviette and it's really thin, that is pretty much where your pattern is going to be. And you can just start tapping down on your serviette and laying it down. To seal in your image, you are now going to do a thin layer of hodge over your serviette. Remember, it is really thin, the serviette itself. So be careful not to push too hard and to not layer it on too thickly. So depending on how you want your end product to look, you're going to continue like that until your entire tray is full. As you can see with this one, I did the inside with one pattern of serviette, and then I did the outside and the edges with another pattern. So you can continue doing that and following the same principles all the way around until you are done. Once you are done with your tea tray and it's exactly the way that you, that you want it, then it is important to remember to give it a good coat so that it is hard wearing and it can last long. I use this poly matte coat. It is a polyurethane coat that is made for tough projects like this one. And I use the matte because I generally don't like gloss finish, but there, it also comes in high gloss. But any kind of coating that you want to use to make sure that you seal your project, project in, just make sure that it is dry, that you have left it for a day to really dry out, the glue to good dry, and then you get it ready for coat. Give that a good dry, and then you have your customized process templates to play. Unleash your creativity and start your next DIY project. Get your tea tray from Castle Timbers. The link is in the comments below.